I'm Peter Milios from the Finance News Network. Stocks rose on Tuesday, resuming their November rally as comments from a Federal Reserve official raised hope that the central bank may not need to raise interest rates further. The Dow Jones Industrial Average added 0.24%, the S&P 500 inched higher by 0.1%, and the tech-heavy Nasdaq Composite gained 0.29%. Fed Governor Christopher Waller had expressed confidence earlier Tuesday that policy is currently well positioned to slow the economy and bring inflation back to 2%. His commentary comes ahead of the Federal Open Market Committee's policy meeting on December 12 to 13. Markets generally expect the committee to keep its key lending rates steady. Boeing helped lift the Dow on Tuesday, adding 1.4%, while Dow member retailers Nike and Walmart gained 0.7% and 1.2% respectively. The S&P 500 got a lift from Newmont Corporation and Synchrony Financial, which were higher by 6.3% and 5.1% respectively. Stocks have rallied this month. The Dow and the S&P 500 are on pace to finish the month 7.3% and 8.7% higher respectively. The Nasdaq has climbed 11.1% in November. US Treasury yields dipped on Tuesday, with the yield on the 10-year Treasury note down nearly four basis points at 4.354%. Tuesday's moves follow a losing day on Wall Street. The Dow and the S&P 500 both finished Monday's session around 0.2% lower, while the Nasdaq inched down nearly 0.1%. Data released on Tuesday showed consumer confidence improved in November, even as most still expect a recession ahead. The conference board's index rose to 102 for the month, higher than downwardly, downwardly revised 99.1 from October, and ahead of the Dow Jones estimate for a, of 101. On the earnings front, CrowdStrike is expected to report earnings after the bell. In commodity-related news, oil prices increased on Tuesday as traders anticipated the possibility of OPEC implementing deeper production cuts, while Kazakhstan reduced its oil output by 56% in response to storms affecting the Caspian Pipeline Consortium, contributing to the price rise. The head of one of the world's largest developers of clean energy said investors are on the wrong side of history as they drive a historic sell-off in renewable stocks. Shares of companies involved in wind and solar power projects and the equipment behind them have been slammed this year as high interest rates and inflation hit their profitability. The S&P Global Clean Energy Index, which includes the 100 largest clean energy related businesses, is down 31% since the start of the year, compared to a less than 1% decline for the fossil heavy S&P 500 Energy Index. Turning to US sectors, most close higher overnight, consumer discretionary was the best performer whilst health was the worst. Looking ahead to the Australian landscape, the SPY futures are pointing to a 15-point rise. Thank you for listening.